console fanboys or just trolls? I think a bit of both. Also, Activision Blizzard in big doo-doo right now. And my thoughts on the recently revealed Dead Space remake trailer. All this coming up, so stick around. If you go onto Twitter, which, yes, I know, is the home of the most wholesome social media content ever created, what you want to do is head over to the Xbox Twitter page. There you can click on any tweet and notice in the comments section a plethora of people simply replying PlayStation is better or former Xbox owner and PlayStation kicks Microsoft's ass, so on and so forth. I was at first taken back at the sheer multitude of comments, like this is on every single tweet except for one that talked about like flight simulator upgrades. I guess that game gets a uh, pass? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, this all came to a head last week when Microsoft even tweeted a comment on all these people basically stating, for all who partake in this trollish banter, simply play on the console that you like. This did not change anything, and I was intrigued, so I thought to myself, are PlayStation fanboys this petty? What could they even hope to achieve acting in such a manner? Then I also started to ponder, are Xbox fanboys just as petty? So I clicked on over to PlayStation page and just opened the comment section of their latest tweet and <laughs> it was littered with comments saying Xbox is better and Game Pass is better. I was shocked, but yeah, not that shocked. And after actually looking into many profiles of these commentators, I realized that most of them are just trolls. In fact, many of them that travel to the Xbox page to cite their love for PlayStation would do the exact same on the Xbox page. Not all, but some. This sealed the deal for me. It's just Twitter. Still, it's something to behold, and I implore anyone to go to these Twitter pages and see the fiasco for yourself. It's quite amusing since there are so many people who don't know they are trolls. So they come to the defense and argue with the trolls. Don't do that. It is never wise to do that. There is no reasoning with a shit poster. They come out of the shadows like the trolls they are and fling their negativity goo all over the place. And you're just gonna get in the way of the mess. Now, there will always be stubborn console fanboys on the Xbox or PlayStation team arguing about frames per second and how the exclusive games of one outdoes the other. And this is all hilarious and will always give PC players something to laugh at. Puny peasants, what do you know of frames per second? <laughs> Uh, onward. If you haven't been paying attention to media, you have been missing some intense drama in the corporate world of gaming. There is an active lawsuit issued by the state of California against none other than Activision Blizzard for extreme counts of harassment of the spicy nature against female employees and just a whole bunch of really shady, pathetic treatment of staff by management and other staffers causing a toxic, volatile work environment that finally is coming to light. It's showing what really happens behind the company's closed doors. I wish I could say that's the worst part, but it gets even more volatile as corporate decides to send out PR damage control emails trying to downplay the accusations and those making them, and really making the situation a million times worse. It's like Activision Blizzard notices a dumpster fire in the middle of their company, and instead of putting it out safely and humanely, they just start throwing buckets of hobo vomit on it in hopes that it goes away, and instead of shielding their employees from the flames, nope, they're making those employees grab more buckets of hobo vomit, because how else do you put out a fire? My heart goes out to all those employees that were affected by this, and I hope retribution comes in the form of tons of cash for the afflicted and the immediate termination of anyone found guilty of the abuse, and a visible change in the corporation to make sure that this never happens again. Look, I want Diablo 4, and there are millions of WoW players that want the game, well, to not suck anymore. So yeah, change needs to happen, and it needs to happen now. On to a little brighter topic to end of the day. EA dropped a pretty juicy teaser trailer at the end of their last game showcase, and yes, it was Dead Space Remake trailer. Now, before we all jump aboard the hype train, there are some precautionary tales that need to be spoken. We all know EA for the past, I don't know, five or ten years, hasn't really been worthy of our trust for many reasons. From their downright greedy microtransactions littering almost every franchise to their constant destruction and gutting of wonderful studios, yeah, like the studios that made the original Dead Space trilogy visceral games. It is widely agreed that the first Dead Space is a masterpiece. And if you don't agree, well, you're dumb. I said so. 
Just kidding. But you might want to play it again if you feel that way. I digress. EA has its reasons to make any Dead Space fan skeptical. Hell, any fan of any of their franchises is skeptical. But they have made some moves that cast a glimmer of hope that they will not be EA in the remake. Take Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, for instance. It was showcased to be a single-player, story-driven campaign with little to no microtransactions. And it shipped being a single-player, story-driven campaign with no microtransactions. It's been a while since I've played, so I'm not sure if DLC was added. I mean, don't quote me on everything. I'm just a voice on YouTube giving my opinions and trying to be as forthright as possible. So there is hope that Dead Space Remake will follow suit with a few good decisions EA has made in the past year or two. And we can all get back on the Ishimura to battle the Necromorphs that haunted our dreams so many years ago. For any of you that have never played Dead Space or Dead Space 2, you're missing out on a truly horrifying yet amazing time. As for Dead Space 3, it still leaves a dirty taste in my mouth just saying the name. It needs to not exist, to put it lightly. Well, that's all I have for today. If you like the content, hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe so you can get updated whenever I post another video. Till then, see you later.